before we start, there are two things I would bring to your notice. First, try to attempt all the answers. Second, be really loyal with your answers. Okay. Okay. Fine. So introduce yourself. Uh, good evening, ma'am. Myself, Gaurav Thapakar Modak. I have completed my Master of Engineering from Government College of Engineering in 2017 with the CGPA score of 7.00. Uh, before that, I have completed my uh, Bachelor of Engineering from PR of Engineering Aurang, uh, Amravati University with the CGPA score of 7.66. Uh, in my uh, in my HSC, I got 71.70 percentage and uh, in SSC, I got 85 percentage. After this uh, post-graduation, I have worked as an assistant professor in Engineering Institute uh, for 1.5 years. But uh, after some payment issues and the family issues, I have left my job. And uh, after the uh, two years, I have joined the CBC school. Now, currently, I am working as a uh, PGT teacher in mathematics subject at St. Paul Public School, Akot. I have... Mm, I am in... Uh, from uh, last two years before, I have taken... I am taking the classes of mathematics subject, tuition classes. As I joined the school, I left the uh, tuition class. That's from mine. Okay. Gaurav, there are certain yes, human doings of an interview. Okay. So, I, right now what I'll do, I'll conduct your interview. I'll come back in the feedback round. Okay. Fine. And when is your actual interview, Gaurav? Uh, on Thursday. We have two days to go. Tomorrow, yes, we have Wednesday. Okay, those. Yes. Uh, and that's for the position of mathematics tutor. Right? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma because, okay, on 27th, we have so many interviews. From past three days, I'm conducting interview of my candidates. And 70-80% candidates are of maths background. And their interview is also on 27th. So, I think all of their interviews on the same day. Yours, I mean. Uh, yes, ma'am. My time, our schedule time is uh, 6 to 7 p.m. 6 15 to 7 p.m. Uh, so some in the morning, some in the afternoon, some in the evening, like that. Okay, yes, right. So now, now tell me, what do you know about Baidus? Uh, uh, Baidus, uh, it is uh, founded by the Ravindran Baidus in 2011. Baidus is the edtech company, which is uh, having the in the sector of education field. It is a MNC company's uh, work for the uh, online education system for the great. Uh, Grade first to uh, up to 12 standard, and it is uh, having um, lots of multidisciplinary stream in computer examination sectors, also in uh, academic sec uh, sectors, also. Okay, that's it. Now, tell me uh, who's the founder and co founder of Baijus? Uh, Ravindran Baijus. I didn't uh, remember the name of the co-founder. Founder is Ravin, uh, Ravindran Baijus. We have to work really hard. Okay, fine. And uh, some competitors of Baijus? Uh, on Academy, after that, uh, uh, Physics Walas and... Uh, uh, Vedantu. Vedantu is the most toughest competitor for the Baijus and extra marks. In the uh, educational fields, means up to 12 standard, Vedantu and extra marks, these are the tough competitors for the Baijus. Hmm. Okay, now tell me, how do you deal with criticism in your life? Yes, ma'am. I didn't understand. How do you deal with criticism in your life? Criticism. They will be asking for that. See, okay, I didn't prepare for that answer. No, because private job interview is totally different from the one which we gave. Which we gives like uh, okay. you go to school, you go to school, they'll ask you general questions regarding school. They'll ask you to give you demo in any topic in mathematics, right? But they'll not ask you general yes, questions. Whereas, whereas when you apply at private job, they do ask you such questions. Okay. General questions, right? Hmm. Say, how do you deal with criticism? Hmm. 
Mm. Didn't understand that proper questions, man. Criticism. Okay. Fine. Now tell me second thing. Uh, difference between a teacher and a mentor. Okay. Uh, teacher, uh, teacher will give you the uh, uh, proper knowledge regarding the uh, whole these uh, chapters or subject concepts. Okay, and he will explain the concepts uh, with the examples. He will he can give the practicing on that uh, concepts. Okay, he will take the practice on the different different questions. This is the role of the teacher and mentors who will guide you only how to do this. What is the concept and how to solve those questions? It will only show the directions. Okay, but teachers will uh, take your practice from all that concept that he taught. And mentor will only the guidance. Mentorship and teacher, uh, teachership. There is a, some difference between the mentors and teachers. Yeah, that what that what I asked you. What is the difference? You are telling me only that is, uh, that is the uh, that is uh, that is the difference. Teacher will explain the concept. Uh, he or she will take the practice on that concept uh, by solving the uh, doing the different types of numeric uh, numericals. But in the mentorship, mentorship only the teacher he will explain the concept and he will give the direction only. He will not take the all this effort. To understood that concept. Now, what is the role of academic service partner? Uh, in the academic service partner, we, uh, we have to take the classes of the uh, students online way, and if uh, we will, uh, we have to take all the if the students are understood or not that concept properly, we have to go with the, all these activities with the, uh, uh, talking with the, in some sessions with the parents also, some feedback from the parents also. And by doing uh, their uh, by applying their test, we have to work on their all the concepts. See, uh, Gora, since I know you are doing job somewhere, so what I'll do is I'll share the questions with you, prepare the answers. Okay. Okay. Uh, and tell me, along with doing the job, how will you manage to do this? Uh, by juice, then you will leave your job. Uh no, ma'am. Uh, it is a, a part time jobs that is it is from uh 3 30 to i think uh, it is 8 30 or 9 pm and we have to uh, take only the four hours and it till time after that in the evening i will manage it after uh 4 pm after you come back from school you'll manage no okay. that's okay. not a big deal for me to uh, teach to anybody okay i am having the tough uh mathematics subject knowledge that I'll check. Okay. okay. Check that. I'm here to check that. Fine. Okay. Okay. Good. okay. Good. I like the confidence level and the enthusiasm. Okay. Good. But make sure the way the way you give the interview, that also depicts that. Make sure you answer, give answer. Make sure teaching aids are very okay. good. Fine. So now tell me general questions again. If you get rejected today, what are your backup uh, plans? Already, uh, I am working as a teacher in the school. Okay. Uh, this uh, virus is the back, a backup plan for me. It is a plan. Plan A is uh, plan A is my uh, uh, school, and uh, it is a part time job. As uh, as we, we know, it is a part time job. So this is my plan B. Okay. Now tell me, what do you, some current news you know about virus? Uh, by just uh, 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 takes one of the renowned personalities as in the business sector. I didn't uh, forget. I forgot their names. Okay, but uh, he will manage all the Baijus because uh, last in the last six months, uh, Baijus having the downfalls regarding their. Um, Income source of incomes or the registration of the students. Uh, so uh, they are in the um, business sector. They are appointed as one of the head for the. I didn't. I forgot their names. Now tell me why we should hire you. 
ओके लास्ट थ्री इयर्स आई एम टीचिंग टू द सेवन एट नाइन टेन स्टैंडर्ड ग्रेड स्टूडेंट्स फ्रॉम सीबीएसई स्कूल्स एंड द स्टेट बोर्ड आल्सो आई हैव द बेस्ट ऑफ सब्जेक्ट नॉलेज रिगार्डिंग द मैथमेटिक्स सो आई कैन एक्सपर्ट प्रॉपर प्रैक्टिकल नॉलेज एबिलिटी टू ऑल सेंस with the plan by the so i can what are your personal career goals for next 5 to 7 years mathematics uh, and uh, i want to work in the mnc companies like byjus next my career i want to become a, a full time job partners in the byjus as work from home also and on uh, with work from office also to 9 pm i will give the time for the bye juice what is something that you cannot bear or not being able to uh in my i am too emotional and i uh, am like i cannot speak live with the others that is my good point you cannot speak Live with the students. Again, repeat your words. Well, I am not saying students. 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 I I forget the answer. I will read it. No problem. No, there is no problem. How important is education to you? Okay. Uh, as per my perspective, uh, education is the uh, most important part in everybody's life because uh, with the uh, in uh, education, we will get the confidence to. Uh, do the jobs also and us uh, to stay in the society uh, how to behave with the others also that is the most important thing so education is important uh, for surviving the life tell me about a time you have overcome a difficult situation okay uh, when i uh, left my job uh within that uh, two years i spent um, most of the times uh for nothing doing uh, doing in the education sectors mm, after that uh, i have started my journey in the uh, teaching field okay and it's good that the... okay see or right now i am conducting your mock interview i no problem yes. but with this with this session i would not suggest you to appear for an interview just as if you when you go to when you go to see a doctor no the yes. doctor tells you tells you do and don'ts if you have aapko koi bimari hai tabhi kharab hai aap doctor pe jaate doctor bolta hai ye karo ye nahi karo koi bolta hai na similarly yes, i in the mock interviewer i would suggest you you are not prepared for the interview to aise the interview ke liye mat jana theek hai thoda sa वो उसके लिए हम बैठे हैं पर मैं कराने के लिए बैठे जो अभी आपको टिप्स एंड ट्रिक मैं दे रही हूँ उस पर बहुत फोकस करना है इंटरव्यू सेशन टेल मी प्रिपेयर प्रिपेयर डेमो टॉपिक डेमो वीडियो शोकेज दैट एक्सप्लेन एनी टॉपिक can i go with that topic yes hmm. 
Okay, I will explain. Um, let's put in here only. Okay. Uh, good evening, students. Today we are going to uh, today we are going to study the understanding of quadrilateral, which is a topic from the eight standards of CBC NCERT syllabus. Okay. Uh, in general, uh, we have studied uh, any angles is made by the lines with the two lines. Okay. This one is the open open systems. Okay. With the uh, drawing the third line, we will get a closed system, which is we will know it as a triangles triangles having the three sides these are the three sides but today we are going to study the geometrical shapes which is having the four side a closed geometrical figure having four sides so we generally call it as a quadrilateral okay quad means four and lateral means side a closed geometrical figure which consists of four sides we will call it as a quadrilaterals and quadrilaterals are classified into four types first one that is trapezium next one parallelogram Parallelogram is further classified into two, uh, three types. First one, rectangle, square, and rhombus. Next one, this trapezium. First, we will study this trapezium. In the trapezium, one of the pair of the uh, sides is parallel. We will call it as a Trapezium. It looks as suppose if I consider ABCD is a trapezium in which AB is parallel with the CD, in which AB is parallel with the CD. These are the two uh, Gaurav, opposite. Gaurav, yes, ma'am. Uh, I yes, would suggest you, uh, yeah, this, this protocol is not allowed for the interview. Your face should be visible. Okay, ma'am. Uh, currently, I am not having that uh, mobile phone holder. I am having this screen here also. That is a wide board, but it is not comfortable to teach without that board. And today I forget that um, stand mobile stand so that it will. Yeah, fine. It will be fine. Fixed. Yeah, because like this, you are teaching, you know, so you're not allowed to do back camera. So your, oh, your yes, face should be clearly visible to the HR. Okay, well. Okay, uh, these are the. Uh, in the trapezium, in trapezium, opposite sides, one of the pair of the opposite side is parallel. We will call it as a trapezium. If the this A, B, and C, D, these are the two parallel sides. If these are the two parallel sides, A, B, and C, D, these are the two parallel sides, and A, D, and B, C, these are the non-parallel sides of a trapezium. Okay. If the non-parallel sides are equal, then we will call it as an isosceles trapezium. The next one is parallelogram. In parallelogram, if the opposite sides are equal and parallel, we will call it as a parallelogram. And parallel, the properties of parallelogram, if PQRS, if I consider, this one is the parallelogram in PQRS, PQ is parallel with the SR and RQ is parallel with the PS. These are the two opposite sides which are equal and parallel, we will call it as a Parallelogram. In the another property of parallelogram related to the diagonal, diagonals of a parallelogram bisect which is with each other. Again, this parallelogram is classified into three types. First one is rectangle. In the rectangle, opposite sides are equal and parallel. If I consider again ABCD is a parallel rectangle, then in which ABCD AB is equal with the CD and BC is equal with the AD, which are the opposite sides of a rectangle. And diagonals are also equal 
and diagonals are bisectors of each other and each angle of the parallel uh, rectangle is of 90 degree in square also all sides are equal all sides are equal okay and each of the angle of a uh, square it is of which is of 90 degree next one rhombus in the rhombus also all sides are equals and diagonals are perpendicular bisectors of each other uh, this one is the classification of quadrilateral another uh, yes ma'am explain this is from that's it yes ma'am fine i can explain uh, explain this topic in other again details Achha. Fine. Now I'll be asking you general questions, right? Yes, ma'am. Now tell me, what is a centroid? Okay. In a triangle, in a triangle, if we uh, draw a three angle bisectors of a triangle, the angle bisector with in, intersected with each, each other, then that intersecting point we will call it as a centroid. Hmm. And this centroid divides the each angle bisectors means this angle bisector in the ratio of one is to two. What is orthocenter? If we draw a per if we uh, draw if we draw the uh, perpendicular bisectors on the sides. After that, if they intersected with each other, that uh, intersecting point, which is known as the ortho center. Okay, fine. Perpendicular now, bisectors if... of each, each side. Tell me, if A plus B plus C is equal to zero, fine. Yes, ma'am. Find the value of AQ plus BQ plus CQ. AQ plus BQ plus CQ. CQ. Uh, it is the formula it is zero because uh, a, a q plus b q plus c q is equals to a plus b plus c in uh, in next bracket a b plus b c plus uh, a c okay if a b c is uh, equals to zero then a q plus b q plus c q also equals to zero so the answer is zero yes ma'am Okay. Now, what is the difference between uh, exponent and power? Difference between exponents and power. Hmm. Uh, there will not be any difference. We will call it as uh, both the uh, meaning is same exponents and power. Oh my God, what are you saying? 3 to the power, uh, A to the power 3. Now what is exponent and what is, what is power? Generally, we will, A is called as a base and 3 is called as a power. What is exponent? Okay. Okay, now tell me what is total surface area of hemisphere? Total surface area of, of hemisphere. hemisphere. For Four by three uh, pi r square. Is it no? I, I, uh, sorry, it is two by three pi r square. Okay. 
टू बाई थ्री पाइर स्क्वायर वॉट इज स्लाइन स्लैंड हाइट ऑफ अ कोन ओके कैन आई एक्सप्लेन विथ दिस डायग्राम Okay, if I draw uh, this one is the cone, which is the upper part of the cone, which which is in the circular shapes. Okay, and these are the two sides. Okay, if I uh, take the cent center of the circle and which is the height. Okay, and the line joining with this, um, having this slope, we will call it as the slant height. And the formula for this slant height, if I consider. R is the radius of the cir circular shape and H is the height. H is the height. The slant height is denoted by L, and we are we will find out this L by using the theorem of Pythagoras. That is, L square is equals to H square plus R square. Okay. Now, what is two degree linear equation? Two degree linear equation. <laughs> Which is having the degree of two. Generally, we will call it as uh, degree. Uh, if the degree is two, we will call it as quadratic equation. Linear equation cannot be in the uh, degree of two. If two dice is, I am asking question of probability. If two dice is okay. are thrown, what will what will be the probability of getting a number nine? Two by thirty-six. Two by thirty-six. 